Hello everyone, it's Mikey Hates here on Hero Glitters Gaming again, and we're on uh, Tesso Unlimited, Tammy Unlimited, with our female Magicka Sorceress. Obviously since last time it's gone dark, uh, but we're outside the harbour near Davin's Watch, and um, this is a good time to um, really make our way into the harbourage guys. Uh, what I've done, I've just swapped things around um, with, on the skills, just to let you know. On my um, front bar, I've, I've still got the crushing shock, and of course there's some volatile familiar. But what I've done is I've swapped crystal shard in there. Uh, I've swapped that for uh, mage's wrath. I've taken Major's Wrath out and put Crystal Shard in there because we do quite a lot of damage, direct damage with that. Um, and then of course I've kept those two in Lightning Form. That used to be called Liquid Lightning, but now it's called Lightning Form. Uh, an unstable wall of storms and our, and our ulti, ulti there. So, And then I've just put here Major's Wrath in that there, so um, left it at that. So, just a little bit of a um, shift around there. So what we're going to do guys now, we're going to go in. Yeah. Here we are, find the harbors. We've found the harbors, of course, so yeah, let's make our way through here. Oh, well, that closed with quite an ominous thump, didn't it? <laughs> um, like the way there's a book there, but you can't read it. <laughs> Funny how the the music uh, as it entered then, but yeah, the music just really just kind of came to a very very abrupt sort of end, which didn't really sound quite right. And of course, you've got a bookshelf in here, and there's a, there isn't a single book in it that it's got uh, any kind of skill. I mean, really, come on, come on. <laughs> what are they playing at? <sighs> Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. When you first appeared to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of my destiny. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson? <laughs> of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Hmm, okay. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Here we go. A mind-bending trip. <laughs> Even the scamps come with us. <laughs> Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Now this would be useful. The story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory mm. of my prior life. Mm. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. That's, that's why he's blind then. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. Right, well, there you are. <laughs> that explains it then. <laughs> There's the Elder Scroll. Prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. 
What does that have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. Who are the Five Companions? The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. Mm. They hope to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? The Dragonborn mm. are mortals destined for greatness with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Who was this leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Baron was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Go on. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. Hmm. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the hmm. mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathan. A powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Saha, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the King of Worms, a powerful necromancer. And your execution. All right, and talk to the prophet. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. How could the Amulet of Kings turn Varen into one of the Dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice <coughs> him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. Why did Varen want to be Dragonborn? By tradition only the Dragonborn <coughs> can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Tell me about the other companions. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? Tell me about Lurus Titanborn. You've already met <coughs> her. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north. And it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Baron chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. All right, well, as he said, we've already met her. So we need to find a way of freeing her, don't we? Tell me about the Sai Sahan. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Baron's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. Tell me about Abner Thorn. The Thorns are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council, a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his council, Varen was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. I've heard enough about these three, so what about Manny Marco? Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. What happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Right, let's have a look then.
Oh, we'll be going somewhere else for this, are we? Yeah. We are. We'll do this in first person, I think. It'd be better. There it is. The Dragonfire Brazier. Manimarco, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron uh, uh. Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Molag Bal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh! Huh? Forgive oh. me! Have mercy on our souls! Wow, so that's what happened. Oof. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Plane Mountain. What went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. And what happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Hmm. So what happened to the other companions? Baron was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molag mm. Baal. And what about Abner Tharn and Mani Marco? Tharn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clivio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Mani Marco and his worm cult. How did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat? The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Hmm. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierce the twin veil that seems to draw near into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction will appear in all throughout Tamriel. Hmm, there it is. The dolmens, the explanation of them and everything. <clears throat> if the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, 
he would merge our world and his own in a terrible plane mill. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yes, I'm ready to go back. As you say. Hmm, so that gives us some pretty deep insight into what happened there. How Manny Marco betrayed them and betrayed everyone, really. And how the dolmens began. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You give me a lot to think about. There is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. So what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind <coughs> man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Louis Titanborn? Louis sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. What should I do in the meantime? Minamarco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. I'll do what I can. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Good, there we are. So we got a skill point. Yeah. Um yeah, we should just gotta find our way out of here now, aren't we? This is over here, isn't it? It's even unlocked the hard bridge. So, we started the main quest properly now, so that's good. Right, I reckon now the best thing we can do is make our way to the inner sea armature. Oh, some, look at that, the dolmen has just collapsed. Just making our way, I think, up here is maybe the quickest way to it. Hopefully, anyway. Here we are. Good. Hmm. I like that. So, guys, this is our first proper delve. Um,
let's go right. Yeah, why not? It's hard to, see, to make decisions of which way to go. Alright, uh, something see someone's been down here. Oh good. Great. Oh that's good, we might be alright then. The only trouble with these stealth sometimes is people have gone in before you and wrecked it all. And there's the sky shot over there, brilliant. We've got a low book over here. That's, well, it's one of the tomes we need to receive, actually. Go and get that sky shot in a minute. Don't want to leave anything to chance, to be honest. Oh, look at that. You see, this is what happens. Shish. Well, we got the sky shard anyway. Need to start. Need to start sort of um, bar swapping as well. Mm, pretty much got everything from in here. Yeah, just forgetting about that, you can get some good stuff from them steam pipes. Go and get this one in here. See, like these are all being killed or destroyed, whatever. It can be a bit of a nuisance sometimes, really, because it's kind of, you know, it spoils the whole point of going through the game and. Right, there's another one of the to tomes. Brilliant.
Got it. Brilliant. Go before us now. So let's if the main boss has gone, which he might have done, look at he's nearly dead, so yeah, he's probably just killed the main boss. We're gonna have to wait for that to Whoa, whoa No Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, uh let's put the tripod. down hmm. well done I am Shalador young one and I think you'll do me. return that book to the lost tell her fire will show her the words hmm return to the mages guild Whoops, that was a good job that that didn't work then because I, just, I didn't need that um, pot then. <laughs> and he popped a post in them with <laughs> for no apparent reason whatsoever. Anyway, we're done. Well, let's have a little explore of this part of it now. Lovely. I think we pretty much searched around it. Whoa! Yeah, we're okay, aren't we? I think we 
got a gold plate, don't we? Yep. This is good. No doubt. Pop. There we go, level 17. Well, we'll get out of here first. Let's have a look and see what rubbish I've picked up. I think I might just swap that bow around and put another lightning staff or even a, even um possibly a uh, flame staff or something in there. Whoops, whoa, it's changed. Doesn't look like that chest has uh, respawned. Never mind. Don't even use since What a pity that, eh? Oh well. I think we're done, guys. Job done. Right, tip enchanting. Select a weapon and choose enchant to apply weapon glyphs. That's fine. 
Choose one, glyph of hardening, glyph absorb magic. Let's just pick that one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well done, love. <laughs> one attribute point, one skill point, one rune to spare housing brochure, dungeon finder unlock, arc scarinium. And the toys of furniture next time. Good. So we've got two skill points there, that's really good. We'll put them in a bit later. Um, hmm, that was a bit of overkill. Not quite sure whether we'll get there in time or not, I don't know. At this rate, probably not. <laughs> It's the same thing again. Nothing's working. This is happening all the time with me. And what's going on, whether it's the controller or not? So it's working now. Might be the controller, you know. Yeah, see, it's not working again. Ah. Alright, now it's working. That guy's dead. Well, I actually got to that first flipping little rat. That, that is ridiculous. What, what is going on with these things? I actually got to that and pressed it first. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, I don't like doing dolphins when there's too many people. It's Look at that, I can't even take the drinking thing. Oh. Let's make our way back then to, um, to Devon's watch. 
Let's actually see what I'm doing. I've actually got the sun at the moment that's shining on the actual screen of the TV now. I can't really see a lot what's happening. I, I'm really, I don't know what's going on though with um, that, that bar of mine, that skill bar. That's quite a lot, quite a few times now that's let me down. Alright, I'm not going to bother with that if there's nobody around. I'm hoping I'm actually aiming this horse in the right direction <laughs> moment because I can't see a lot at all. So he's attacking them nets, you so I can't see the point in that. I really can't. I mean, there's plenty of enemies to attack. I mean, look at that world boss there. Why bother with nets? <laughs> Go to the harbourage again. Well, not for a while now. He did say it was going to take some time. Seat me by the cliffs outside Devon's watch. Hurry. <laughs> right. Um. What's going on? I'm running into a cart here. watch would have been overrun if you hadn't been there. Here she is. You're back. I take it you found enough ore? This should be enough, I know. Refining ore into ingots is a good way to build your muscles. Well, in one arm. Best to switch every now and then. Otherwise, you'll be lopsided. I have iron guts. What needs to be done now? Go to the blacksmithing station and craft an iron dagger. Nothing fancy. You shouldn't need more than two iron ingots. Oh, and you'll need a style material. I'll you be got that. Purchase them from any blacksmith, or scavenge them yourself if you're thrifty. Right. Well, we know what we know what that is. So we don't. Well, we can talk to them anyway because we can sell to no them. Um, right, create. Iron dagger, there we are. And we want a style material, don't we? There we are. Right, so we've done that. Craft an iron dagger. You'll need some iron ingots and a style material. I have it right here. Is the style material, but I'm sure you know that. I figured it out. What more would you have me do? Next is deconstruction. You learn a lot when you break something into parts, even more so when it's someone else's work. Go deconstruct your dagger, or anything else really, as long as you do it at a blacksmithing station. Okay. Now here's a chance now for us to do a bit more. So. Let's deconstruct. Right, well, we can do the iron dagger that we're supposed to deconstruct. Yeah, we can, I can deconstruct them as well. Right. You certainly know your way around a forge. You're a blacksmith, and let none tell you otherwise. I'm ready to be certified as a blacksmith. Of course. I'll get you certified right away so you can fulfill blacksmith crafting writs immediately. Lovely. There's only one more certification I can provide. If you need training, I have time. However, you must commit. 
I can't certify two things at once. I want to be certified. Show me you can craft a pair of homespun gloves. <laughs> Don't First, answer that you'll one. Collect some raw jute, <laughs> then return here and refine it. Finally, you'll use refined jute to make the gloves. I should have been certified a long time ago. You'll certify me if I craft the homespun gloves. <laughs> of course. It was the first trade I studied. I'm happy to certify anyone familiar with a clothing station. Now run forth and bring me a pile of raw jute. I already have enough raw jute. Of course we collected some money. a clothing station. If you have enough, you can easily refine it. <laughs> bring the refined jute to me when you're done, and then you'll make some homespun gloves. Actually, I already have some refined jute as well. What should I do next? <laughs> Head to the clothing station and craft a pair of homespun gloves. You shouldn't need much refined jute. Don't forget the style material. You can purchase them from any clothier or scavenge them yourself. I'll go and make the gloves then. Right, so let's go. Over here. It's over here, isn't it? <laughs> right, so we've got to... Uh, we don't need the style material, I don't think, do we? Right, so let's make the homespun gloves. Oops, there we go. Yep, jute. There we are. You done it? Job done. Um, so why don't, yeah, I don't need to go and see him, do I? Um, yeah. Craft a pair of home. Done him. You know, I'm <laughs> Clothier, yet I still own a pair of homespun gloves. They keep my hands warm at night. Sometimes simple is better. Right, I'm ready for our next step. Wonderful. Now for deconstruction. There's much to learn from breaking down your own work, even more so with someone else's creation. Right, thank you. Well, we know, don't we, about that now, really. So we just go over here and we deconstruct it, basically. Whoops. Deconstruct. Okay. Right. You're more than capable with needle and thread. I'll be proud to call you my colleague. I'm ready to be certified as a clothier. Already there we are. done. You'll now be able to fulfill clothier crafting writs, and I look forward to seeing more of your work. Yeah. I have nothing left to teach. Have you spoken with Danelle Teleno? Ah, oh, here's the other one. He certified right. with enchanting, alchemy, and provisioning. Last I heard, he was in the local Mages Guild. Ah, there we are. We're done. So we've got to make our way to the local Mages Guild anyway. Because <clears throat> we've got to see... Falas, isn't it? I don't know why it's gone on to that. Return to the Mages Guild, that's what we need to do. Let's talk to the last and finish this. Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Yes, I have them right here, and something strange happened. Well done. You're already proving your worth to the Guild. Sorry, did you say strange? What happened? An old man in robes appeared to me. He said his name was Shalidor. Shalidor? Labyrinthian's father. Bell mirrors forger. Are you speaking truly? And uh this book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? Shalador appeared right after I picked up that book. He said fire would show you the words. The spell rites of the first era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. I'll give it a try. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not. The pages will not burn. Can you tell me more of Shalador? Shalador was the most famous archmage of the first era. His dedication to spellcraft and his commitment to research were unmatched by any before or since. Most mages revere him, though he does have his critics. Why would he be criticized? Shalador felt that one should earn the right to be called mage. He created many trials to test the spellcasting metal of men and myrrh. His loudest detractors were those who failed those tests. Yeah, no, I suppose that they would be, wouldn't they? Right, so, place the tome on the arcane brazier. So 
way over here. <laughs> I thought it was going to be near. Oof. Talk to the last. <laughs> what has the fire revealed? I can't understand the words here. They must be very complex spells. Complex indeed. Much of this is beyond my understanding, but here, this one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some ritual orbs. What do these orbs do? They'll focus your magicka, attune your life energies, and draw him to this place. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. What does that mean? It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? Uh, let's to the begin. Center. Right, so First, let's get this done. Spirit to Use when the ritual ready. orb. When you're set, use the orb before you. I knew it. I was right in choosing you. Hmm. I can sense. Yes. The aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. Why me? What I hope to accomplish is difficult. Perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense this strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. I'm sure that's the voice of Rayloff in Skyrim. It's gotta be. What is this task? A storm rages towards us, Adept. War has come to Tamriel. And the mages of this great guild must have quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven, a sanctuary where they may study in peace. How do we create this sanctuary? I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from me by an agent of chaos and magically transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. Where are these tomes? They are being held in the place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. <laughs> it's a realm of the mad god, Sheogora. You would have to be, wouldn't Stand it? by my side, and I will open a portal. I'll stand with you, Shalidor. Be careful. Sheogorath is not to be taken lightly. I lost the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. Shalidor, why have you returned? To protect my legacy. While this guild was, after my <coughs> time, I accomplished much in Tamriel. I founded schools of magic, oversaw the construction of the Great Maze, and bore my spell mirror into battle. And you think the war could undo that? I know it. I laid powerful enchantments on my final resting place. When my legacy is threatened, I'm drawn back from Aetherius. My presence here is proof enough. The Three Banners War is a threat to every mage in Tamriel. How did you lose this sanctuary? I won't waste my time recounting his antics. Suffice it to say he got the better of me. Bets were made, wagers were lost, and my sanctuary, Ivea, was pulled into his realm. My apprentices screaming all the while. Who is Sheagor? the Daedric Prince of Madness, the Mad God. The Dunmer call him one of their four corners of the House of Troubles. And he's earned the title a thousandfold. And am I really going to a place called Cheesemonger's Hollow? <laughs> yes. An example of Sheogorath's humor. There are those that find his madness amusing. I am not one of those people. The Mad God would just as soon serve you an aged cheddar as he would flay the skin from your bones. Remember that. Is he really a threat? He sounds like a joke. Don't take him too lightly. Madness comes in many forms. Sheogorath encompasses them all. He rules the Shivering Isles, but often takes an active interest in our world. That usually doesn't end well. Right. Enter the portal. Well, guys, I'm not entering the portal now. So we'll do that next time. Okay, and... Um, 
I shall say goodbye and um, I hope you've enjoyed it and um, yeah next time we are going to the cheesemongers hollow so bring your cheese grater with you and we can have some fun and don't forget the butties either so so I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to give us a like and um, enjoy your gaming guys till next time it's Mike Hate signing out bye bye for now bye bye